we love two A plus wrestlers getting a match together and them kicking ass. Okay! Hello there, YouTube. My name is Alyssa, and welcome back to this glorious YouTube channel. So, today, I have a slightly different video for you guys. It's not that different from anything I've ever made, but it's a bit different because it's not something I typically will talk about. So, if you're a non-wrestling fan, you wouldn't know that the G1 Climax 30 is happening right now. That is an NJPW event, NJPW New Japan Pro Wrestling. So mainly if you're an NJPW fan, you would know. Because a lot of WWE fans and AEW fans, they only really watch those products. So, okay. Yes, if you're an NJPW fan, you would know that the G1's happening right now. And so today, I'm going to break it down for y'all the first week. So, for anyone that doesn't really know or is a wrestling fan but doesn't watch NJPW, G1, the G1 is a tournament that goes on for about two months. It's got ten, blo ten guys in each block, so there's two different blocks, A block, B block. Whoever wins those blocks with the most amount of points faces each other, and then whoever wins that match goes on to face IWGP Heavyweight Champion, which right now is Naito. So whoever wins the G1 will be facing Naito. And so, who are in these blocks, you may ask? Well, I will tell you. A block, Kazuchika Okada, Shingo Takagi, Tomohiro Ishii, Jeff Cobb, Will Ospreay, Kota Ibushi, Jay White, Minoru Suzuki, Taichi, and Yujiro Takahashi. And then for B Block, it's Hiroshi Tanahashi, Juice Robinson, Hiroki Goto, Toru Yano, Yoshihashi, Tetsuya Naito, and, well, not and, Sonata, Zack Sabre Jr., Kenta, and then Evil. Now, so that breaks down the blocks, but who's facing each other the first two nights, you may ask? Well, I'm about to tell you, and I'm about to break down what I thought of those matches. So, first match I'm going to break down, Jeff Cobb versus Taichi. This was fucking fantastic. Taichi was literally insane. Literally, almost... I think he may have even actually picked up Jeff Cobb. I don't even remember if it was almost or if he did. Like, bruh. That was an insane match. So, if I had to give it a five out of five stars, I would say four. That was fucking great. I thought that that was a banger. Next match we're going to be going over is Willow Spray versus Yujiro Takahashi. So, listen. I liked Osprey okay for a little bit. He's gotten old, man. I can't do it. Same fucking shit. It's getting a little stale on me, ladies and gentlemen. He's not even, it's not even because he's a bad wrestler. It's just, he's fucking annoying as shit sometimes. On like Twitter and all this shit. It's like it's the same reason I don't like Seth Rollins. I think Seth Rollins is a fucking idiot. And guess what? He may be a good wrestler, but I still fucking hate him because he's a fucking idiot. But anyway, back to what I'm actually talking about here. Um, Osprey versus Yujiro. I thought that Yujiro didn't do that bad in the match at all. But Osprey, it was not his best match at all. 
I did not really think that Osprey should have won that match. But, but yeah, I thought, I mean, Yujiro doesn't typically do that good. I feel like Yujiro is kind of mediocre for me. He can be okay. I feel like he's more of a tag guy than like a G1 or a anything big kind of guy. Man, that match. I don't even want to relive it. So, Jay White versus Shingo Takagi. Oh, wait, my rating for the last match. I would say two out of five? Two, maybe? Yeah, I'll give it a good two because I'm a nice person. <laughs> okay. Anyway, on to the next match. Jay White versus Shingo Takagi. Y'all, from the second Jay walked out, you could tell that he was just excited. <laughs> it did not matter what anyone was doing or anything. He was just fucking excited. It was hilarious. It was such a good match. He did so good. And so did Shingo. I fucking love Shingo, by the way. Was not sure what I was going to think of him at first. I am in love with Shingo, guys. Like, as a wrestler, just A+. Plus. And so was Jay. So you know what? It works. Great combination. Great match. We love that for them. We love two A-plus wrestlers getting a match together. And them kicking ass. And regardless of the outcome of this match, I was not going to be mad. Just, it was so great. Jay immediately doing the... Just, he immediately just got out of the ring. It was so funny. <laughs> oh my god, that match. Oh, my rating for that match was... A 5 out of 5. Next match on our list. Tomohiro Ishii versus Minoru Suzuki. I like Suzuki and I like Ishii. This match, I wouldn't say was bad, but it wasn't good either. I wouldn't say it was the best. So, okay. Especially Suzuki, like, Suzuki's getting up there when it comes to age, but I still think he does fairly well. Um, that's up for discussion or debate, I would say, probably amongst fans, but I don't think he ever does that bad. So, to me, this match, it wasn't great because they're a bit up there and I don't really think it's necessary for them to be in the G1. I think it's a little past that time for them. I think that they could have definitely put in some different people to make it a little fresh. But what can I say? Um, the match wasn't great, but it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen in my life or anything. Like, if I'm gonna rate it, I'll give it a solid, like, 2.5, 3. Not good, not bad. It's kind of just there for me. That's more so my opinion on it. Um, let's see. Okada versus... Ibushi. Okay. Let me just talk about this for a minute. Okada, sweetie. What is up with you recently? Because I'm just not with it. Man, I love Okada. Okada has always been so good. But just... I don't know if he's throwing a fit or what he's doing... Or, like, if he's pissy about something, or what. But Okada just has not been on his game at all. And I'm sure a lot of people can definitely agree. 
I mean, naturally, Ibushi, you're gonna get what you get with Ibushi. I think Ibushi's freaking great. I typically think Okada's great, but Okada, I don't know what's up with him recently. He just hasn't been on it. I don't know if home life or something, you know, who knows. Not that it's my business anyway, but something's up with Mr. Okada because he has not been on his game. And I personally think that he needs to get back on his game. <laughs> that is my opinion on the match. Um, so, giving it that, I will say a three. I don't think it was great, but I don't think it was bad. Because Ibushi tried with what Okada was giving him. So now, we're going to be rolling in to the B-Block side of things. Toru Yano versus Sonata. Yeah! This match was hilarious. I was dying. Okay, so... <laughs> they, they got the pad and they just started hitting each other with the pad. And then, okay, I love how Yano keeps using the same thing that he used when he beat Moxley, but I also kind of hate it, because it's gonna get old, but this was hilarious. Him literally taping Sonata to a young lion, and in the same exact spot, too, I'm pretty sure that he taped Moxley and Shoda together. Incredible. It was hilarious. I was dying. <laughs> and, of course, that's how Yano wins. It's Yano. Yano, if you're watching a Yano match, y'all know that it's not going to be clean if he wins. That's all I'm going to say. So y'all can take that as you will or say about it what you want. Then Yano stupid. No, 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 no. no. I think Yano just likes to be a comedian. And we love that for him. My rating, though, for this match, four out of five. I will give it a four out of five. Because I think it was good. But I wouldn't say it was a top match. We'll get to that one later. Juice versus Yoshihashi. Okay. Yo. I don't know what it was about Juice, but I think that dude was excited to be back too. And you could tell again from the second he walked out in his little new uniform. But yeah, you could tell that Juice was just excited to be back. And Yoshihashi did not bring that same energy at all, which made it a very one-sided match to me. It wasn't that it was bad. I think Juice, typically, like I said, I don't like Juice, but I thought this was a great match from him, just not Yoshihashi. But that's kind of typical. I really don't get why he's in here either. Like I said again about like I said earlier about Minoru Suzuki and Ishii, I think he's a little past that. And he's not that good of a wrestler to me. So I don't see it. But that, I don't mean Gato can see it like all he wants. I don't know. It's not up to me. <laughs> but I'm not digging it. That's all I'm going to say on the subject. So, with that, my subjective rating will be a 2.5. Juice did very good, but the thing is for it to be a bit more of a solid matchup, I feel like Yoshihashi really had to bring it as much as he did. And he was not doing that. Zack Sabre Jr. versus Evil. talk about this match. I really don't. 
I just, I just wish it did not exist. It needs to not exist. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that right now. This match needs to not exist. It needs to be deleted from the archive. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Zack. Poor Zack. We... He tried, guys. He tried. And I feel so bad that he tried. And then there's Evil, who just like, was not with it at all. Evil was not even trying to put Zack over. Or anything at all. Like. It was just bad. Evil didn't even try to sell anything he was doing. He didn't even try to help him with the submissions. Evil. It was bad. And I feel so bad for Zack. Evil. I liked Evil, okay? He was fine when he was with Sonata in their little tag team. He was fine, but I don't think that he was actually good when he was with Sonata. What if that was a fluke and Sonata just made him look good? Plot twist! Evil has just been so bad since he went solo and joined Bullet Club that I, like, can't even. <sighs> it was so bad. Y'all, it still makes me angry. I feel so bad for Zack. Just... Hashtag Zack Saber Jr. deserves better. That's all I'ma say. <laughs> so, with that being said, again, Another 2.5. Because Zack tried. He really tried. But it just did not go well for him. And I never want to have to rate a Zack Sabre Jr. match. A 2.5 again in my life, NJPW. Hiroki Goto versus Kenta. I don't even know if I actually fully remember this match. I don't really care for Goto, and I kind of like Kenta. Um, I mean, I guess, sure, could be an okay match. I don't even, like, I don't know if I actually even remember this match. Because <laughs> it was just kind of there. Um, I mean, other than that, I don't really know what to say about it. I'll give it a solid three, because I don't even know if I remember it. And Kenta's typically okay. Hiroki Goto, I'm not a huge fan of. So I'll give it a solid three. Um, now this next match, however, I will talk about. Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Tetsuya Naito. Okay, they've had these matches before. They've done this before. But y'all, they were on a different level this time. They kicked ass. It was just so good. And Tanahashi having that few months, I'm so glad they gave him that few months off that they did. Because Tanahashi looked so good when he looked so tired just for a long time and you could tell that that man was tired he just needed sleep <laughs> it was so good Naito too but Naito's always good Naito just Naito is always very good I love Naito Naito just yes That match, oh, what, what, there was one spot that I wanted to talk about. Oh, I think it was when Tanahashi did that top rope spot. And Naito, like, caught him or something. Yeah, okay. I couldn't remember if Naito actually did anything or if he just moved. So Naito just rolled out of the way. 
but Tanahashi, bro, you are nuts for even trying to do that. Just that match was so good. But, of course, again, you have two good wrestlers, you're gonna get a good match. So, it's reasonable that that would be a good match. I'm gonna give this match a solid 5 out of 5. Because I thought it was really good. Judge me all you want. Okay, anyway, so... So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys thought of the matches down below. Um, let me know who your favorite NJPW wrestlers are too. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like my face, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if when I upload is really that important, uh, the notification bell should be up there by the bullet club sign. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>